As Alberta's cities and major towns grow, so too does her footprint on Alberta's rural landscapes. We recently released a report that contains new insights into the extent of farmland conversion and fragmentation in the agricultural white zone of the province. That's the agricultural region of Alberta that is about 64 million acres of land. The report, completed by our team of University of Alberta professors and graduate students, shows that urban land use pressures have been particularly acute in the areas around Edmonton and Calgary and along the corridor area along the Queen Elizabeth II Highway. Between 1984 and 2013, the amount of land and urban and industrial uses in the Edmonton-Calgary corridor increased by 52%, while the urban area of Calgary tripled. 625 square kilometers of land was converted from agriculture to residential or industrial uses between 2000 and 2012. Some of the good news is that everything else equal, best quality lands were less likely to be converted than lower quality lands. Nonetheless, much of the land converted out of agriculture during the 2000 to 2012 period was prime crop land. This is partly a matter of geography. The Edmonton region in particular is located in an area of very rich soil, good for farming. It is difficult for urban areas to grow without encroaching into high quality agricultural land. There's no doubt, this is an issue many Alberta residents care about. A survey of 320 urban and rural residents in the Alberta capital region revealed considerable concern. Survey respondents indicated that it was important to maintain agricultural land for production of food for local markets, air quality, water purification, scenic beauty, and production of food for global markets. Responding to a choice experiment about their willingness to pay for farmland conservation, about 80% of the respondents indicated that they were willing to make a $20 one-time contribution toward farmland conservation in the Alberta capital region. Over 50% were willing to make a $300 contribution. Respondents were willing to contribute the most to conserve land used for vegetable production, followed by rolling grasslands used for livestock grazing, and by crop and hayland. Municipal councils are at the front line of decision making regarding farmland preservation in Alberta. As we grow, it'll take a careful balance from public policy makers to ensure the protection of agricultural land that Alberta's residents value and care about.